It's the hottest ticket in town, and we are sold out inside the Red Rock Casino Resort and Spa here in Las Vegas, as we expect tonight to be a very memorable night inside the Octagon. This is UFC Fight Night Live. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. We've got a tremendous card for you tonight. Only inside the Octagon will you see the very best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the sport today. My partner is always Joe Rogan. Joe, our main event is a matchup that both you and I have waited a long time to see. This is a classic matchup, Mike. Both these guys are solid fighters, well-rounded, very tough to stop. They have fantastic conditioning, and this could well, very well shape up to be the fight of the year. I'm excited, and I'm ready to get things started right now. You and me both, partner. Main event should be a great one. A lot of action, in fact, to look forward to all night long. Before we kick it off, though, let's take a quick look at our rules of the octagon. Three judges will score the bout, the bout duration three five-minute rounds. There are no championship fights on the card tonight. A 10-point must scoring system is in effect, with the round winner gaining 10 points, his opponent nine or less, based on effective striking, grappling, aggression, and octagon control. Our night with a light heavyweight showdown between the original Ultimate Fighter winner, Forrest Griffin, and Surreal Diabati. A kickboxing and Muay Thai champion in his native France, Surreal Diabati is a dangerous opponent in a stand up battle. He'll be hoping to keep this fight on the feet and leave the octagon with another knockout victory. Former light heavyweight champion and Ultimate Fighter Season 1 winner, Forrest Griffin is an extremely dedicated athlete with impressive conditioning and well-rounded skills. A competitor known for his heart, Forrest charges forward from the opening bell and never stops attacking. is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from the Red Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. And now, it's time to begin our first bout of the evening. Three rounds in the UFC Light Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet, six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Ruel Malmaison, France. Cyril the Snake Diabate. And now, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet, three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. Forrest And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we are ready to start round one. Are you ready to fight? Surreal Diabati. Forrest Griffin. Round one is underway. Hello. Sorry about gambling. Um, I, I forgot. Or betting, rather. Well, I'm calling it gambling now. Uh, I forgot about it, to be honest. Um, and I was busy with universe mode stuff, so. Sir, dude. As he would say. Look at that. Oh, nice. Um, oh, yeah, clock. I knew I'd forget it. I'll turn it off. Hold on. My immersion. My immersion. It's gone. 
You don't see a pool's menu in real life. This can't be. This this is fake. This is bullshit. You clickbaited me. Uh, yeah, it should be good. Oh, nice right straight by Forrest. I like that little uh, that, that body kick he has. That lead body kick. Did Barté go and uh, being, being effective here? Uh, no. Gambling won't be. What do you mean the clock? We'll be next time. Hopefully. I don't know why it didn't work last time. I, 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 I don't. Yeah, he likes it. Oh, look at those. Look, those beautiful combos by Griffin. One, two, leg kick. I'll try and get gambling on the next one. I, I, the, 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 chat, the bot I used just decided to stop working. Debate on the top, on top now. But Griffin used that jiu-jitsu. Spins him over with that sweep. Back to his feet. Debate's best work, obviously. He's a striker. He wants to be on the feet here. He's, he's got length. He's tall. But Griffin's a, a warrior man. He's got cardio on his side. Look at this. Debate's slowing down. See if Griffin can implement that. Uh, that. That. Well, drain him, rather, you know. Uh, rip that body. Tire him out. Nice. One, two. From Griffin. Mm, yeah, Miller and Edson's going to be good. Trying to get that throw. Gets the body lock. Forrest is an underrated wrestler, but he gets reversed by Diabate here. Diabate. Oh, gets reversed himself. And here we go again. Oh, oh, beautiful left hand. Left hand and left elbow. Yeah, I tried to... Oh, he was trying to go for a, a triangle there, I think, for a second. He was in butterfly guard. I don't know. It just it didn't recognize that I was live. It wouldn't connect for whatever reason. Try before the stream, man, after I done. Maybe I need to reinstall it. Ooh. Although I, I am on my new hard drive now, which is gloriously fast compared to what I, what I had before. So maybe, I don't know, for whatever reason, it will just decide to work. You know what? Let's see. I should be able to... Hold on. It should launch a lot quicker now. Yeah, there you go. Fucking hell. No more waiting 10 seconds for something to launch. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, this is... Gloriously... Gloriously fast, this new hard drive. It's not even an SSD, but to me it basically is. <laughs> From that round, Mike. Love that low kick from Forrest there. Right here. This is Could slow Diabato down in the later rounds. Because nice Forrest works best in a five round fight. His style is not a ton of power, but he will. He will whittle away at you. Some good in that round. Hey. Yeah, I, I just thought um, I would try it on. Um, I thought I would try it on EM, EMMA. Because, I don't know, I like that game. And, uh, yeah, the grappling isn't all that fleshed out. But it's fun. Uh, it can cause some crazy moments. Especially against strikers. The one thing I like is that you can... The, the one thing I like about that is I can essentially have... I, I can... <laughs> I almost said glass skin. I can have Askren be pure glass chin for the entire thing. Not that he has a glass chin, per se. But I can make it to where he gets rocked um, easily. But it's just in the game. You can't make a grappler have a good chin, which is nice. For the most part. Yeah, the, the the animation's nice. It feels better than Unity, but the animations are quite nice, I must say. It feels satisfying. More more so than EA UFC. Ooh. Trying to try head kicks here. Glass screen, yeah. Twas. Oh, gets hit. Uh, probably tomorrow or the day after. Oh, Hike it gets blocked. Nice right straight, that one too. He's backing up here. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful dodge. Slipping counter there by Forrest. But he gets caught on the combat, uh, on the on the counter. Look at this, uh, Diabate. Slowing down here, Forrest. Smart. Goes for the throw. And he goes for the arm triangle. This could be it. This could be it. Yeah, this is tight. Forrest, Jiu-Jitsu, I think black belt, potentially brown belt. He's tying that up. And I think it's over. Yep, Diabate taps out. I have Holloway, uh, Durandami, and Usman. It is, yeah. But you can get them. Take a look at it. Here he locks it in, Mike. Gets all of 
his weight pressed down against that arm, locking the neck on one side and his own arm on the other, cutting off the blood supply to the head. Beautiful yeah. submission. I think Jeff Neal would probably take a decision, but I would like to see Mike Perry win. I like both, but Mike Perry, man. Thought you were a friend, boy! Ah! The veteran voice of the octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, Platinum Bless. I like Durand and me. Honestly, I really do. I think she, she regrets what she did. And, uh, I don't know, she just seems like a nice person in general, besides, obviously. Yeah. The thing was bullshit, I admit. It. But, I like her. <laughs> Mm, yeah, potentially. Oi, connected. Hey, hey. The bot is the bot is back. What's this? Yes. Get in, my son. Right, betting is on. Um. I well, not for this fight, but the next fight. So let's. Let's wait for this to come back. Uh, and then wake up, per se, so, so to speak. Right, what is the next fight? Anyway, so 40% payout. A bit slow. There we go. 40% payout. Max 1,000. No, actually, I'll do 10,000. There you go. Right. Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? The bets. When it says I'm connected, that is. I think it works now, though. Um... Oh, I don't know. Duranami is a very underrated striker. She is, is a savage. Um, do not underrate her. Let's see. Right. So next fight is Miller versus Barbosa. Okay. Yeah, I apologise for being late on this, but it, I, it wasn't working on the other. Oh fuck! Hold on. I just copy pasted that. I didn't want to. Right. Allow me to start the betting. There you go. I think Durandum's got a better shot than Holm. Holmes. Hey, Holmes. A lot of people say Holmes. <laughs> Y'all got your betting. Y'all happy now? You degenerate motherfuckers. All right, I'll load it to that. Well, actually, it's not on the car fight, so I'll give you a couple. Uh, I'll give you a minute or two. They both landed some good kicks in that fight. Good bit of damage off. They even landed some nice low kicks. All right, we'll head to the next fight now. I like the a lot too, but I really like around me, so. Probably helps that my friend is Dutch, so. I therefore sort of. Um, I like a lot of Dutch fighters as much as I like English fighters. Well, like I said, it depends on who they are as well. I'm mean, a big Overeem fan, a big Duran me fan, so I guess the two most prominent Dutch fighters in the UFC. Hey, what's up, Riley? What is up, my friend? Oh, hey, what's up? Um, I watched it. It was uh, as predicted, but he did ask for Lima after. No one else, which is nice. Super, uh, betting's available. Ah! Yeah, WWE 2K19, uh, lads. We're moving universe mode to WWE. No, no more of this, uh, this fake bullshit MMA, this UFC bullshit, bro. We're going to real pro wrestling. Real damage. Real fights, as we all know, pro wrestling is truly where uh, the toughest are, 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 are put on display. You know, there is no, there is no pussy MMA in in pro wrestling. Pro wrestling's the best. Uh, all right, here we go. Stopped. So let's see how Barbosa. Oh, nice right hand off the bat. But he needs a big. Um, he needs a comeback win here. Miller's on a good streak. Well, he's he's looking good and. Abosa dropped his debut, so he's got to he's got to put something together here. Oh, beautiful! I'll tell you after the fight, Riley. Just remind me. Nice double leg by um, 
by Miller, but Barboza gets back up to his feet. Oh, nice. Tries to go and intercept knee, but I like that. That slip. Um, I liked that. Uh, pull counter by Barboza. Nice Superman jab. Trying to go for those uppercuts. Miller working that boxing. You'd think Barboza would want a bit of space here, but he's, uh, he's fairly happy working up close. He's got to be careful, though. Nice right straight, but it, it gets blocked. I like that push kick using his length. But he got one gets caught. Oh, he gets knocked down by Miller. Now he's in his guard. Bad place to be. But look at this, Barboza. Gets back to his feet. No slides on the ground himself. Nice catch. Let's see if uh, Barboza tries to get to that tie clinch. Oh, he's in double unders. Goes for the body lock. See if he tries to throw. Uh, throw Miller, but not able to there. This is tie clinch. Oh, beautiful elbow and a knee. WWE, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, I, I was only joking what I said earlier. You know, I actually don't mind it too much. It can be cool. Into guard. Did he? I, I, I've heard that name. I forget who it is. Oh, nice rip to the body. I watched uh, a clip from Combat Jiu Jitsu. And apparently, well, I, I say apparently. Uh, Pearl Gonzalez grappled there and the girl she fought, she snapped her arm and holy shit that looked terrible, intercept knee Ooh, that look wow look at this, Barboza taunting comes over the top with the right hand it was awful, it was it, like the bone was like two inches down to where it really should be arm was kind of floppy and shit man they're going, they're going, uh, they're going out of here on the feet who's ready for Rock Hall to get murdered oh man Miller's got to work their head movement uh, I'm not sure. Oh, man. I thought you meant Gordon Ryan for a second. Uh, no, it wasn't that. wasn't that bad. But it was bad. You could see it pop. A joke as in it's too easy or it's too hard? Take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Some great defense here. That incoming kick gets caught and beautifully countered. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. Jab, okay? I don't want you looking at him. I want you That's a shame. Ariani gets us set for round two. Hmm. Well, this fight's a war so far. Round two. Both uh, Barboza and Miller going at it. Ooh, nice, they both trade. would like to see Barbosa throw more straight strikes, but I like that head movement. Dodging those hooks. But he gets caught with that one. Gotta be careful. I like that use of the jab. Gotta use that jab more. Set other set other strikes up. But Miller, man, he's, he's gritty. He's a gritty veteran. He'll just get in there and start ripping. It would be, yeah. Oh, yeah, it will be. Sorry, I, yeah, we have that scheduled. Oh, look at this. Drop, 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 uh, jumps in for the knee. You know, well, Barbosa's doing well with that uppercut. But Miller is, is catching him on the end of the strikes. Beautiful. Oh, they both sort of... They missed their no, head kick attempt by Barbosa. Oh, no wonder when he'll uh, rip that wheel kick out. You never know. Any second. Oh, nice. Nice attempt. Will he get him down? Nope. Barbosa sprawls. But Miller puts him in guard. Oh, tries to get side control, but not able to. See if we see Bobbers are trying to take the back. The guard. guard from uh, Miller. He's got half guard. Dangerous, dangerous guard on the top, top or the bottom. Potentially, yeah. Palharis is pretty high ranks. Oh, nice attempt. The uh, nice sways there on the ground from Miller. Minimizing damage. See if he goes for a submission here. Oh, tries to go for the Elma Plata. Wisely stands up. Does uh, Barboza hit him with that knee? After the sprawl. Oh, look at this. Catches. Ca See, this is wise. He's not diving in with the punch. He's kicking the legs. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Or as uh, Goldberg would call him, Paul Harris. Full mount for Miller. 
Well, Bowser did a good job catching, but he got to be careful he doesn't get caught in a submission. Look at this armbar, armbar, armbar for Miller. This is, ooh, that was tight for a second, but Barbosa. Barbosa's going to escape here. He's on top. Opportunity for Barbosa. Better ground and pound. Still not able to get full mount. Ooh, gets reversed. Attempts to get rubber guard, but not able to. We're coming into the third round now. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well rounded skills shown by each fighter. The demigod Paul Harris, yeah. To expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Hey, what's up, TJ? <laughs> yeah, it's got like a jiu jitsu. But to be honest, he's not a bad grappler, it's just that he struggles with wrestlers. Let's check out some of the action from that round, Mike. <laughs> this was well timed here. Just a He's go to beta dick. Yeah. That'd be cool. See them end in a draw. Oh, yeah, your uh, balance. Who, uh. Riley, right? Yeah. Let us have a look. One thousand two hundred eighty five points, Riley. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. I want fours and fives with the punches. Very long though, has the best accent. Could have, yeah, he had a knockdown. Third and final round. It's a close fight. Both have had their moments on the feet, both have had their moments on the ground. But I think Miller won the ground exchange with the, the armbar attempt, which was wasn't tight per se, but it was, you know, it was, it, it was, it could have been. Oh, nice attempt again, but again gets sprawled. Did Mickweed fall Brock? I thought it was Dickweed that fought Brock. That would be him. That's either a murder or a quick win for Mickweed. Pro probably a murder though for Brock. Brock would probably send um, send him to the shadow realm for the WWE title. Ooh. Oh, we got reversed. See if he goes into seven eight. Nope. The max you can bet is ten thousand. Oh, look at that. He taunts and gets shot on again. But nice, nice sprawl. Oh, beautiful head kick. Finally lands it. And then Miller shoots again. But well, I could make it fairly easily. I think I just use the dickweed one and turn the colours at inverted. Basically, invert the colours. Give him a mutton chops. Yeah, I'm happy with two K ninety. Oh, and again he defends. The, the, honestly, the take by, by, by Barbosa here is on point. It's, it's very nice. He's done his work, but look at that nice right straight. Save Miller tries to bob and weave, get inside. I'm, I'm surprised we haven't seen him clinch more. Rage Pete, yeah, Rage Pete's brutality kung fu. How, how could I forget? Nice body knee there. Oh, beautiful uppercut by Barbosa and a Superman jab. Let's see if he tries to land a wheel kick of sorts. Although, he is potentially winning. Oh, beautiful into half guard. And now full mount for, for Miller. This is do or die for him now. He's got to... He's got to... Oh, got to get some damage off. We'll try and go for a submission. What's up, Tate? How are you, man? I, look, I, I'll, let me apologize for not being at your streams. I want to be. But I'm, I'm afraid of spoilers. So I don't even go on Twitch anymore. I'm playing through Death Stranding. So I'm like, nope, not going on anything. Not going on YouTube, not going on um not going on Twitch. Stay in my dark room and watch Dragon Ball. Well I just wanted to I probably I promise you I wasn't missing them just so because I couldn't be bothered. End of the round here. Oh beautiful! Beautiful shot inside control. Miller's in trouble, but end of the fight. Saved by the bell. That could have been it by uh that could have been it by. Um, that could have been it from Barbosa. They could have finished it up. Look at this. You, uh, one of those special animations, which you don't get very often, but it. You know, that's, even the game knows it was a good fight. It was a close one. Who can tell? Who can tell who was winning that one? Yeah, that could be Edson. I think Edson secured the fight with that, uh, that rock. Judges have rendered their scorecards. 
Bruce Buffer has Let's the see. decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 30, 27, wow. 30, 27, hmm. and 30, 27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision. Joker! I don't know if that was 3027, but he got the win. Uh, hey, Tony, uh, just, uh, which is the second fight? So we're going to move on to the third in a minute. We have ourselves. Oh, the best thing, hold on. Right, yeah. It has returned. I don't know. Super with the hall of the the century with four points. Legendary. Let me pop in the next fight here. There we go. Right, uh, he did look good. Uh, no, it's um, Miller and Rivera. So I'll give it a minute. Is it an, it's an undercard fight, so there's no walkouts per se, so I'll just give it a minute if you want to put some bets in. Ooh, big bet from Tony there. We've got two coming. I mean, I'm Miller here. Man, Miller was in trouble. Look at that 94% head damage. Yeah. Still, I didn't think that was three rounds to... Um... Uh, yeah, he did. Yeah. I didn't think that was three rounds to Barboza. Mm. Yeah, I didn't waste a ton of gas. Not that I'm going to waste gas, per se, but... Right. So to the next fight. Wow, one thousand from Riley on uh, on Jason Miller. Not not a time crazy. Just uh, two fights. We're going into the third now. Yes, you did, Tony. You have seven hundred forty-one points. Probably. What's up, TJ? Points. So three bets on uh, on Miller here. Let's see. Oh, beautiful throw by Rivera. Oh, oh, Rivera is coming out aggressive here. Already, there's a a, a cut on uh, Miller's face there above his eyebrow, or above his eye rather. Nice little jab attempt there. Oh, nice left hook from Miller there. Ah, no problem, man. Doesn't work yet. I, I have to come. I have to. I, I have to. I have to put. Oh, I've got to program that, but I don't know how to. I'll have to look it up. I think. Uh, Edson one. Try to give it a high kick. Miller's very versatile. He can fight anywhere. But nice. Look at this boxing from. This boxing from Rivera. Of course, took a decision win over Bisping in his last fight. Pretty, uh, pretty dominant win. Oh, nice uppercut! Oh, left hand, and then an uppercut from from Rivera. The Miller's got to be careful. Got to cover up. Can't leave himself too exposed. But he can't just—he can't just 
He's got to make... Uh, he's got to make Rivera respect him. He's got to get the respect of Rivera. Uh, yes. I think. Well, he might be like number 14, 15. But I think he is unranked. Ooh, nicely done. See if Miller tries to... There we go. See if he tries to uh, grapple more. Oh, yeah, it's confirmed, I'm pretty sure. Houston. We have a problem. Look at that Loki animation. Oh, beautiful high kick. That looks like a unique animation. It might it might just be um, the way it was, the way the strike landed. Nice. Man, the boxing here. Oh, he's hurt. Miller's in trouble. See if he knocks him down here. Wow. Heart for it, sir. The, the heart shown by Miller. Of course, got a lot of experience in MMA. He's not new to the game. But no matter how experienced you are, you can't just sit and eat punches. You will go down. He needs to see. He needs to get round the the hooks of of, of um, Jorge. I think Reyes is a good shot. He's got some real good. Um, he's got some real good. Striking. I don't know. I'm yawning so much. Okay, I thought he might be. Look at that beautiful arm throw. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. I saw I got to finish that combo. See in the highlights here that um. Some good in that round, Mike. He's landing all the shots, uh, Rivera. Or oh, all the big shots. Santos Cap. Oh, cool. So Tyson Fury's talking to himself. Pretty awesome. <laughs> nah, I'm joking. But, um, yeah, that, that's cool. I'm going to have to watch that. Yeah, that was Rivera's round. Diego Santos rematch. Yeah, I want that too, to be quite honest. Nice clinch work here from both guys. A little knee on the uh, on the on the, uh, on the break. I like that right straight, just small strikes, but enough to disrupt the timing and rhythm of Miller. Comes over, comes over the top of that left hook. Oh, high kick attempt, but he gets blocked. He's really covering all the bases. Is his um. Is uh, Rivera here, but there you go, gets, gets tagged there. Can't let your guard down. When you think you've got it in the bag, or you think you're winning comfortably, just takes one shot, and the entire fight can be turned on its head. Oh, nice push kick there. See, this is what Miller needs to do. Use his size, use his length. Work those kicks. And stay away from Jorge's best weapon, which is his inside boxing. Oh, I kick attempt. Nice. Miller with that uh, that leap out of range and then comes back. Oh, lovely. Miller's starting to... He's coming out better in the second round here. He's adapting. Oh, left hook. That stuns Rivera. But both composed still? Oh, that, he's down. He's down. Let's see. Will the ref stop this? No, nope, Miller catches the strike. That was damaging. Oh, he gets hurt again. And again, Miller catches it. But he's got to be careful because he's in trouble. He's in big trouble here. But he's able to get to half guard. Ooh. Miller. Uh, Rivera inside side control and gets caught again. But once more, Miller catches the strike. Will he go for submission off his back? Will he go for submission off his back? Nobody gets back to the he gets back to the um to the to the cage. Nice, look at this from uh, Rivera or from uh, from Miller rather. So if he goes for a, a, a suplex of some sort, nobody lets him go. Oh, gets hit with an uppercut at the end, but man, he is in trouble, Miller. I don't know if he's going to be able to recover. 
to the for the start of the next round. Sanchez Melendez rematch, yeah, that'd be fun. Especially at the uh, the point they are in their career. What I think is possible, you know, uh, Miller could come back with a big strike. Rock, Rock Jorge go for submission. Anything's possible. But right now, it isn't looking good for him. He's in trouble. Oh. Good instincts from uh, Miller there. Solid striking on display in that round, Mike. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Three. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Shandella. Okay, third and final round. <laughs> Rocko by self KO. Third and final round. Rivera looking very good here. But he can't, can't get too too cocky or over confident. Let's see how Miller does here. Oh, gets caught with uh, a couple of shots. He's got to stop overextending and leave himself exposed. Oh, nice high kick attempt. If I was him, I'd start grappling. Oh, they could. They, oh, they, uh, they, they, they exchange. Nice push kick. I like that jab from. Uh, I like that jab from Miller. Get the sp uh, get, get the range, but he's, he's slowing down here. He's slowing down. Uh, I, I apparently he uh, he he sounds better. Oh, nice right straight. He, I, I read the Facebook post or whatever. I think it was a Facebook post he put up. Will do. Man. I'm impressed at his toughness. Uh, Miller's toughness. He's surviving. Despite being really hurt. Uh, I don't know. Potentially. Maybe he moves up to light heavyweight. Who knows? Oh, oh, it's over. It's over. He's hurt. He's hurt badly. Oh, my God. He still survives. Look at this. Jorge's gassed. Let's see if he goes for a takedown. Oh, it's over. It's over. Big right hand from Rivera. It's out. Ref. Ref. What the fuck, ref? That was unnecessary. Brutally unnecessary, but this is a fight game. So you don't stop till the ref pulls you off. What an amazing win for Jorge Rivera. Two great wins back to back. Dominant wins at that. He might be one of the dark horses of this division. That's a DQ. Yeah, he was fucking hell. Unusual videos on Twitter. Alright, what's this? Let's have a look. Boom! And with the official decision. Here's Bruce Buffer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was great. Thank you for that. Bounders. I know. Mike David, was, that was actually. Yeah, Rivera. I was going to say Miller. Well, everyone who bet on Rivera, you get a fat zero because nobody bet on Rivera, so... Ruined forever, yeah. Not as epic. <laughs> right, next fight. Who is it? It is. Rory McDonald and Matt Serra. So could you up next. After that. Yeah, after that. After the Rory McDonald fight, so could you. There's Ryan Bader, Mark Munoz versus Charles Sonnen. Husamal Balharis versus Anthony at Rumble Johnson. And in the main event, Mark Kolmanick and Cub Swanson. So it will be... Well, you know, as we're going up the card, it's getting more technical, so. Okay, right. Except Rumble. Rumble isn't really all that technical, but, I mean, he, yeah. He can strike. He's a skilled striker. He just likes to wing bombs. Right. Better get started. Man, Miller was gassed. 96% head damage. He's tough, though. He held on as long as he could.
Up next, it's a welterweight matchup between Ultimate Fighter winner Matt Serra and Rory McDonald. Whether he is standing up or on the mat, one thing is almost certain with Rory McDonald. It will not go to a judge's decision. Tonight, this well-rounded fighter from British Columbia is hoping to add one more finish to his impressive record. A respected master of Henzo Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, Matt Serra has also shown UFC fans that he's just as dangerous when he chooses to stand and bang. This former welterweight champion is a dynamo anywhere the fight takes place. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Edge Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with our official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Rory, the water boy, McDonald. And now, Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of East Meadow, New York, Matt the Terror Sarah. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get things started. Are you ready to fight? Rory McDonald, ready? Matt Sarah. And here we go. Hey, don't sleep on Matt Sarah. Oh, look at that jab. Immediately fires that off. He's going to get inside and throw bombs. He's going to try a lot to grapple. Matt sarah has got those sub skills, and he's got power. Not a very technical striker, but he's got the power. Of course. Can never forget how he knocks out GSP in real life. The Canadian psycho, yeah, that was. Didn't uh, Seven Mono was a, a psycho? He called himself a psycho of some sort. Some sort. Oh, look at this, Paul's got. Oh, nice reversal. Red King is yeah, my favorite nickname. Sounds like something from Game of Thrones. Oh, nice. Rory using his range here. I like that Superman punch. Hey, kick attempt. Oh, comes over the top of that Superman punch. But I like how you can like you can see how the fighters are fighting differently. Rory's trying to use his range, stay, you know, he's trying to avoid strikes, avoid getting in, in close, using the head movement, and Mass is just like, no, I'm going to charge forward with hooks, and I'm going to try and clip you, and there you go, take you down here, but... Boy, tosses him off, throws him off. Look at that uppercut. Nice right hand and left from, from Sarah. He's done some nice strikes. But look at that up jab from uh, from uh, from McDonald. Let's see if uh, if Matt can uh, if uh, Matt can. Do some work in the clinch. He's got the body lock. Let's see if he's able to throw him down. Okay. Was it was it the American Psycho or something? Yeah, the American Psycho. Yeah. That's body work. I I I see why Rory isn't using a tie kick. Doesn't want to get him caught here. Because you know Sarah is almost certainly going to go for a takedown if he does catch a kick. Makes sense. Nice. Uh, yeah, we might have Romero. <coughs> oh. Or film. Yeah, the first round. Apparently, Rory likes Mac a bit too much. 
Oh, he's speaking in his ear. Speaking sweet rhymes. Singing sweet rhymes. <laughs> Fuck it. Now imagine if that was GSP's coach. Oh, I might have to. We don't need that Superman punch. We don't need that bullshit. Meanwhile, the Superman punch is literally one of GSP's signature combos. I understand, though, the role isn't GSP. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And a punishing counter right here. You can see all it takes is one opening and bang. And here's that lightning fast takedown. Amazing mm. wrestling technique. Potentially, yeah. Of versatility being shown in that round. Everything you're doing is working. It's loading up. It's trying to take. There's the beautiful Ari. Probably. Probably. Unless it's a submission somewhere. Second round, will do. <laughs> we need to point fire here, yeah. Oh, nice left hand from. I like that combo, left hook uppercut. Went to it twice. Yeah, he's modeled a little lot in this game. Same with John Fitch, I don't know what happened to him. He looked fine in 2010, if I remember correctly, but. Well. Oh. Seems he became Asian when he returned to you. He looks more Asian in 3 than he does. 2010 in real life. <laughs> what 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 a weird sight that would be. The second guy to get in his eco is Jorge fucking Masvidal, of all people. Sarah has really opened up, Mike. That is a big cut. Oh, spinning back fist. That might deter Warrior a little bit, but no, he again steps into range. I'm. I wonder why he. Maybe I mean I, I see why he isn't grappling, but I wonder why he's not trying to use jabs more. But look at this though. That head movement is causing him to miss. <laughs> you got the chin. Come on, champ. Show me that chin. Oh, I think advantage Rory the longer this goes. Definitely got the better gas tank. Oh, nice Superman jab. But look, he gets... Oh, he gets caught coming in with those Superman punches. Sarah trying to tee off here. But he's slowing down. It would be a great five round here. Yeah. Man, who would have thought the first person to get the rock is Matt Seran on the feet of all places? I like that jab animation. Oh. But Rory fires back. Oh, he knocks Matt Seran down. They're going to finish it. Can he end it here? No, nice catch. Nice catch by Matt Seran. Let's see if Seran tries to go for a submission off his back here. Oh, nice. Rubber guard, butterfly guard. I don't know why he would want to stand up. I'd, you'd think he'd be happy to be on the ground here, but maybe he prefers to be on top. No brawling in this fight. Only wrestling. Or we dock 50k from your paycheck. Oh, nice right hand from from uh, from Matt. Nice elbow from Rory. You don't see that too often. Well, yeah, it wouldn't go very well, would it? Let's see if, he, let's see if Sarah lands another hook. Nice little body kick from... Oh! He's out cold. It's over. It's over. That was a right hook. That was absolutely picture perfect. Out cold. The water boy. Doesn't sound as cool as the red king, but oh. That was destructive. Here we see it again. And that's it. To be fair, he did rock him. Boom. And that's all. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I see your post bananas. How much did you bet on um How much did you bet on um Who did you want to bet on? I suppose you wanted to bet on Rory, right? Let me know how much you bet and I'll compensate you. Yeah, how much did you bet? Okay. Oops, I didn't stop betting. Right. Let's... 
do this, as Brock would say. Right, so. Tony, what role you want here, Tony? I'll uh, give you 101, so. No, wait, no, wait, hold on. Okay, um, hold on. Actually, right, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me, hold on. Okay, make sure I get this right on. Right, there you go. I gave you your points and what you got for winning. There you go. Compensation has been given. Um, yeah, that was a, a brutal knockout. Right, let's get the next betting up, shall we? Ah, so could you. Have at it. Uh, we'll do. No, 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 hold on. Right, next fight, let's let's get to it. Uh, TJ, you have some money. Hold on. 489 points. Anyway, let's go, next fight. So could you versus Brian Bader. showdown between Soka Jew and Ryan Darth Vader. With an imposing mix of world-class wrestling and powerful striking, Ryan Darth Vader has beaten down some tough light heavyweight opponents, including pride legend Rogerio Noguera. Eager to secure his place at the top of the division, Watch for this ultimate fighter winner to bring the pain tonight. Nicknamed the African Assassin, Sokaju had some of the best judo skills in the sport. Add to that explosive knockout power, and you have a truly frightening matchup for any opponent in the division. Energy, powered by Zions, the official energy drink of the UFC. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Tepe, Arizona, Ryan Darth Painter. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Temecula, California, 
the African assassin, Soka Jew. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Eve Levine. Eve Levine, our referee. Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan, and we are ready for round ready, one. Ryan Bader, so could you. I just gave you a thousand. If you want to bet real quick, I'll uh, I'll let you, I'll let you bet, and then I'll close the betting. Quickest quickest uh, knockout? I'm not sure. Uh, oh, beautiful! Oh. It's a beautiful um, uh, strike there from. So sorry, half my mind was occupied on stopping betting or when to stop betting because I don't want to wait too long because people might put bets in as soon as something goes haywire or goes goes uh, goes um, sideways for one fire. Oh, nice left hand, nice right hand as well. Oh, nice catch from Sokuji. Derek, if yeah, just follow uh, what Bananas did. Except, uh, okay, fair enough. Oh, 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 Bader with that, with those shots. Now, of course, so could you. Pure strike, well, almost pure striker. Um, you would give the, obviously, you'd give the massive advantage to Bader, but on the feet, on the feet, so could you's got, it's got a lot of power. He does gas, that is, that he does gas, but that first round is dangerous, man. Look at that karate stance, nice, uh, nice uppercut attempt, but gets countered. I have to assign points manually, by the way, which, um... Oh, beautiful eye kick by Sokaju! Ray, Bader's in trouble! Nice body knees! Smart by Sokaju! Switch it up so it's harder to, to catch the strikes. You can't even catch body strikes, you can only block them. Wow, that was a beautiful picture, perfect high kick. Oh, but look at this, Bader comes back. Bader's got power too. And arguably the better gas tank. Oh, actually, almost certainly the better gas tank. But still, the first round is, is scary if you're fighting Sokaju. Anything could happen. Got a lot of power. Of course, he knocked out Ricardo Arona, I believe. And, um, and Hajer and Ogera in real life. Nice sprawl by Sokaju. That has been one of his problems in universe mode. He struggled. Uh, who knows? You could, you could not. In any case, I do. I, if anyone actually runs out of points or gets so low that they can't really bet anything, I will give them 50 points. It's either 50 or 100 or 70. I think it's 50 or 75. That's one. I think that's what it is, yeah. So could you end the title? We'll almost in the title. Let's see if we can get it. Well, look at this. Double unders. For a second. Oh, so could you. Almost. Almost in those double unders again. But. Man. Wonder what people betting on Ryan Bader are feeling right now, because we can see so good. You, well, okay, let's let's think about this. Ryan Bader has survived the first round. It was tricky, but he survived it, which means the further this fight goes, the better it gets for him, and the harder it gets for Sokaju, because his gas tank is his limiting factor. You may be in title for financial. Okay. That's random. Here we see that massive counter. Well, was that a reference to something I was talking about? It might be. And here's I missed it. I don't know how I missed it, but connected. I did. What happened to the draw? Uh, I could I just reset it. Yeah. So nobody actually loses their money. No, 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 no. It's not real money. It's just um it's it's just points. I would never do real money gambling. And even if I even if I wanted to, it'd be illegal, I'm pretty sure, on YouTube. It's just uh like fake fake points, like virtual points that cost nothing. They're just cool. Cool to play around with. Gives a gives a, gives you the UM a bit of extra depth for the for the people who watch, do you know what I mean? Oh nice. Nice uh poor counter by so could you. Oh beautiful uppercut! So could you has Bader in trouble. Here comes the onslaught, the swarm, but Bader survives for now. <laughs> oh, nice uppercut. Oh, and again, so could you. It's the striking prowess of the African assassin. But look at this, he's slowing down. Look at this. Let's see. Oh, nice, nice body shot there. So could you's got to be careful. He could get caught. 
especially as he tires. You get sloppy, you make mistakes, especially on the defensive uh, side of things. But right now, he is... Oh, nice takedown. And, and much needed takedown for Vader. But look at this. So could you full mount. Oh! Sokaju with the bum from full man. Knocks Ryan Bader straight out. Absolutely cold. That is a massive victory for him. Much needed. Coming off the back of a couple losses. He fires back with a fantastic victory over Ryan Bader. Let's see it one more time. He just nails him with that. Dude, Sokaju is actually so powerful. Jesus Christ. Full mount death punch. Yeah, Jesus Christ. That was a strong punch as well. Crikey. Yeah, no UFC car in real life for a few weeks, unfortunately. Smart man. You want your gut instincts? <laughs> Big win. You have. Uh, I gave you a thousand, by the way, Derek. I signed them too as soon as you. Yeah, you are. As soon as you uh, popped in. Um. 810 gambling. Cuck. Okay. Let's let the next fight. Paul, let's move on to the next fight now, which is Mark Munoz versus Chael Son. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. If I hope I didn't distract anything, distract anybody. I would you put, put me on mute if you're doing business, because you might... They they might wonder what's going on. Might have maybe they think you've got someone in your pocket that you've uh, that you're trying to, that's trying to escape. Although I would be curious to see if you could actually fit anyone in your pocket. That would be interesting. Um, uh, we'll do. Uh, right here. You have I think you have eight hundred left. Oh, no, you have one hundred ninety three. But oh, I thought you had eight hundred. Someone else I think that has a thousand eight hundred something. You still got some left. Right, next fight. between Mark Munoz and Chael Sonnen. A fighter known as much for his outspoken nature as his wrestling abilities, Chael Sonnen has been to the top of the middleweight division and holds wins over some of its biggest names. Tonight, he's looking to make a big statement inside the octagon. A former light heavyweight, the Filipino wrecking machine, Mark Munoz now dominates his opponents as a middleweight. With ruthless strikes on the ground and an ever-improving stand-up game, this NCAA national champion wrestler is looking to smash his way to the top of the 185-pound division. set for the official introductions and with that here is Bruce Buffer ladies and gentlemen this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division introducing first fighting out of the blue corner this man is a ballet judo fighter he stands six feet one inch tall 
Weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of West Lynn, Oregon, Kale Sonnen. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of Vallejo, California, Mark the Filipino Wrecking Machine, Munoz. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohal. Kevin Mohal, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are ready to get Goldberg things started. Chael Sonnen, Mark Munoz. And here we go. Here we go. Two high-level wrestlers going out of here. So it could end up being a striking battle. If, oh, immediately Munoz drops. Munoz drops Chael. But Chael, you know, with that infinite health, absolutely unkillable and unstoppable in every single way, gets right back up. And immediately continues his relentless assault. Um, because as we know, you know, it just never stops. This is just a momentary setback for Chael here. I mean, it's just, look at this. They both try and shoot. But you can't try and shoot on Chael. Like, the power of his shots are just... The, the, it's 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 just too powerful. Chael Sodden is actually Thanos. Just, um, just made more human. That's why he never loses. He's just too good. Anyway, I suppose I'll go back to the more serious or more, yeah. Well, I guess I say serious, you know, more serious commentary. Go back and forth in the clinch here. Oh, look at this. He's, he's got an Ezekiel. Ezekiel and Unspooked 3. Almost. Nice. He simply slips. Chair is spooky. So if he gets the... Uh, Let's see if he gets the... Uh, well, I was going to say if he gets Crucifix, but which is actually called Salivary in this game. Um, oh, nice elbow, but gets caught. Full mount. Uh, at some point... Uns uns at some unspecified point in the future. Oh, nice reversal from Munoz. Look at this. He gets the sweep off. Doesn't happen too often in this game, especially when it's AI. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, in the, so cru uh, so crucifix in this game. What we think of crucifix is called. Uh, I saw that. I saw the ending clip. Uh, it's called um, Salivary after Ivan Salivary. There's actually a, a little, uh, I say achievement. It's not. It's not like a, a, a like a Sony achievement or an Xbox achievement. It's a bit a trophy, but it's just a little like in-game achievement. Um, it's title mode, which if you have someone in, uh, I'm not sure how exactly you get it, but you can get something called Fighting Like Ivan, which is. I think something to do with, do with Salivary. Last 10 seconds. They both exchange here on the feet. Nice right straight from Munoz. Twice he fired that one off. Let's hope their corner suggests throwing a takedown or two into the mix. These two aren't putting together anything on the feet. I mean, I don't know what fight Joe's been watching, because clearly the bad guy has been just me, me, me. Demolishing Mark Munoz. In fact, this fight could be stopped in the corner. It's just too dangerous. Chael Sodden is too dangerous for human life. It needs to be contained. Chael Sodden is actually an SCP that breached containment. Look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was a beautiful counter. Unbelievable timing here. Yeah, both guys have some good moments, but I think I think I'd give that to Munoz. Let's see after that knockdown. That is Crucifix. At least as it is in this game. The Crucifix in... in the, the Crucifix... It's weird because it's called... They sort of... They're interchangeable these days. Solivary is called Crucifix and Crucifix is just Crucifix again. Technically more accurate though. I think. The, the, uh, the Goodridge Herrera um, Crucifix. This is round two, and here we go. Nice body kick. Nice body kick from Trail. Oh, left hand from Sonnen. Beautiful. Caught him off guard there. He's got some pop. He does have power. Oh, look at that low kick. He's trying to throw high kicks now, is Trail. Mark's got to be uh, careful. He's looking for the highlight reel finish. 
He is the Dragon Ball. Surprised the arena doesn't just to start playing the intro to Skyrim as soon as he fights. Oh, look at it. Slam. There we go. Oh, immediately land some nice damage. Into, into full mount. He's postured up. Oh, beautiful old bit. Uh, yeah, I think this is. <laughs> Which one is 106 again? I think I think I think I know who you're talking about. But I forget. It's been a while since I've played the game. Sonnen is breathing heavy right now, Mike. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. I was actually thinking about it earlier, but I want to play the special edition because of the more to because of the new graphics, but I also have like 60 mods on the on the piece on the base game. I've heard they're pretty easy to swap over, but still. I don't know if you can keep your safe up, look at this! I don't think Chell cares about my Skyrim safe file. Right, okay. Full mount for Chael. Oh, yeah, it's uh, fucking. Yeah, Radical Larry. There we go. As um, Markiplier calls him. Look at Hammerfist attempt. That canvas is, is just reeling after that shot. Nice if he goes to the knee. No? So I'm just doing good in this round. Oh. Uh oh. The bad guy was in full mount. You know what that means. He gets reversed. Right end of the second coming up here. Good fight. 1-1 one, one so far, I think. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. He's got nothing for you. Straight punch. you got to fight your fight. you got to take him down. you got to impose your will because you're a bigger, stronger guy. All right? Get him down and keep him down. But, all right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was well-timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Wow, that's fucking creepy. Someone made a 106 um, image, a uh, uh, drawing. I'm going to send that to you, Bananas. Yeah, I think UD3. I love UD3. It's my favourite. What's up, uh, uh, Noah and Tom? Um, this is the second to... Well, it's second... No, third to last fight, I think. Yeah, Co-Main's up next. Should have just said that at the beginning, to be quite honest. It's Chael and, and one Mark Minos. Chael catches that. I know. That's pretty. That's actually. That's honestly. I really like that because it's does a really good job of making it look creepy. It's something about it. Ooh. Look at that intercept knee flash there. The top quant chair wins by default. Yeah. Oh, high kick from Munoz. That was damaging. So do I. It's great. I don't know why they never put it in uh, the other games. Ooh, I like that. They're going back and forth here. But smart. Chael grabs the uh, the strike, but I mean, also now double under, and he sort of tr almost threw him down. See if he gets it the third time. Not able to. Well, maybe he will be. What's good, Nate? Still got a few fights left, so. Look at this. Chael throws him down. Don't know why he calls it a suplex when he calls it a suplex the other times. Well, why do they call it a souffle for a laugh? Mm, I cooked him with that one. Oh, oh, Munoz with the ground and pound. Ha! K1 Askren, yeah. Oh, nice reversal. 
I would have grabbed more in one of those fights, except I was so I was deathly afraid of getting gu guillotined. I'm not very good at the, you know, the defense. Although that was the, I, I'm surprised I got out of so many in that fight in e EA MMA. Side control. See if he gets the ground and pound off. So I think this might be the the win for Munoz. If he, um, yeah, best striker of all time. I like how he's slow in the MMA, and he feels slow, and he feels like he shouldn't be striking, which I quite like. And he gets rocked pretty easily, which is cool. Adds more danger. Oh, oh, oh! Chow rocks him now. He's in trouble. It's over! It's over! Whoa! End of the round, end of the fight, and Chael Sonnen, the bad guy, gets it done and takes the judges out of the equation. Would he ever be in universe mode? Who knows? Could be. Never say never. Wow. Can we see it one more time? Hey, see, he just decided to turn it on and just knocked him out. That's how good Chael Sonnen is. He flips the switch and it's over. <laughs> uh, really? He does? Yeah, ground beef. His face is all smushed up. Chael P. Chael made you rich, man. I would love to see the scorecards for that fight. I'm almost certain that Munoz was winning that. <clears throat> yep. Most impressive. Enjoy, Snowman. Uh, yeah, I want to delete everything. Thank you. Okay, right, co main coming up. Paul Harris versus Khambul Jansen. Uh. <laughs> Chair never lost a round. Will do. Right, let's move on. 99% head damage. Can he? Maybe a chap would have won on damage, I'm not sure. Who knows? Then again, old rules, damage wasn't as important as it is now. Still important, but not as important. Of the evening, a middleweight matchup between Husamar Paul Harris and Anthony Rumble Johnson. A fan favorite for both his explosive knockout power and the respect he shows his opponents, Anthony Rumble Johnson is hoping to add yet another knockout of the night or fight of the night award to his resume here this evening. A powerful jiu-jitsu fighter, Husamar Paul Harris possesses an arsenal of submissions and owns back-to-back -back wins in the UFC by way of heel hook. The ground game is his world, and if it goes there tonight, watch for him to put on a technical display. Shape Gel. Get your edge. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the co-main event of 
the evening. Three rounds of fighting in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, Anthony Rumble Johnson. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Ushimar Palhares. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Josh Rosenthal. Josh Rosenthal, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get Joe, things started. Ready? Anthony Johnson, ready? Usamar Paul Harris. Round one is Let's underway. Play. Whenever Anthony Johnson walks through the octagon gate, you know Paul Harris, as they call him. Ha! <laughs> Anthony Anorexic Johnson. Well, I remember I was finding it funny when they called him Crumble Johnson. Apple Crumble. Uh, I used to go for the takedowns. Yeah. This is a bad place for Rumble. He better get up. He's Paul Harris is immediately going for Kamara. Very smart. Look at this. Rumble stands up. Yeah, he looks pretty... Oh, look at this. Paul Harris going for the takedown. If I was Rumble, I'd stand up. Oh, look at this full man. That's dangerous. This is also very dangerous for Rumble now. Stands back up. Very smart. If I was Rumble, I'd, I'd swing bombs and just hope I catch him or something. Yeah, I don't know why it just does that. It, it just has the, the, the Red Rock thing twice. It's it's weird, but... Maybe they didn't have anything else for it. Oh, look at that. Nice uppercut from Rumble. Oh, yeah. He was emaciated beyond belief. He looked like a prisoner of war. What's up, Seth? Rumble got a fire flyweight. Yeah. But, who knows? Maybe Rumble can... Um, he's, he can put people away. He's done it before. Look at this. See, his sub-defense is really poor. It's, it's, in 2010, it's even worse. But uh, 2010 has lower stats across the board, but even so... Something right. Tight, how are you? Now into side control, in the half guard, in the guard. Good sprawl. Great job on the reverse. Oh, a little elbow there from Palharis. It immediately gets to, to half guard. This is bad for Rumble. Look at this. He Oh, look at this. Yeah, stands up very wise. And he lets him back up. Taunts him. Oh, again, he shoots. Paul Harris blocking that knee. Oh. See, Paul Harris, yeah, he does this. He goes for the wheel kicks. I, I guess because he's confident in his ground game, but he more than off, more than uh, more often than not ends up blowing his gas tank, throwing wheel kicks that don't really land. Sometimes they do, and sometimes they do big damage, but sometimes they also don't, and they end up being a waste of energy. Making him a lot of light heavyweight in this game would be criminal. Well, who knows? The power could translate. He's got a lot of it. Oh, right hand from... Is it Toquinho? Is that what it's called? Toquinho? Anyway. Paul Harris. There's a reason I don't always pronounce Brazilian nicknames, and that's because I don't know how to actually... I don't know what they are sometimes. Or exactly what they are. Anyway. Good first round. Um, not sure who won that one. Uh, probably, maybe, maybe Rumble. Queen, yeah, okay. Little tree, yeah, I've heard about it being called Tree Stump. What's up, uh, Retro? How are you, man? Heavyweight Johnson's going to end people and have a gas tank of six nanoseconds. Crank. Toquin, yeah, okay, right. Yeah, it's um I don't know how the fuck he made 170. That is one of the most insane weight cuts ever. Yeah, I saw your uh, notification for that. Fun fun career to do. Now he actually walks around at seven hundred pounds. But he's got a divisibility cloak on that. That can't actually hide all this mass, it just hides some of it. 
So what you're actually seeing is a is is a smaller version of Rumble. He's he's what he really is is just a he's just a brick. Oh, oh, oh I'm trying. Oh, this is this is it. This is it. Beautiful submission by Paul Harris. Let's see. I don't think he can hold on to his neck too long. Who knows? It's over. Paul Harris. Somewhat of a predictable victory, but Rumble gave a good effort. What's up, James? Yeah, oh man, I GSP against oh GSP and career with D. Well, I suppose it isn't. It's it, it's not roster G, uh, roster um, Nate. So you might be able to build up your grappling a little higher, or you're taking the defense higher than roster Diaz by the time you fight GSP. But that'd be a good fight. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, GSP is insanely... He's so good. I know, right? He didn't... He didn't... Cry, he, didn't he didn't... Decapitate him. See! Paul Harris' guillotine is actually a guillotine. It actually... It, like, your, your head just comes off because he squeezes too hard. Forever. Oof. Yeah, Paulo Thiago was my bait. was the bane of my existence at UD3 with the uh, uh, Thiago Alves career mode. He kept grapple fucking me. Him and GSP. Oh. Hey, main event time. Hold on. There we go. Two top ten featherweight contenders up next. Well. Hominick is top five, so there is there is a good opportunity for both here. Even if even if Hominick wins, he's you know he's higher ranked than Cub, but it's a good win. It'll uh, push him a little further up in that top five. And if Swanson wins, then you've got yourself a new top five contender. Both have been uh, on hot streaks recently. Last time out, Cub Swanson, I believe, beat the Korean Zombie, if I remember correctly, um, and. Mark Hominick's coming off a win over Jose Aldo, so big, uh, big things for both these guys. Uh, there is no command yet. No, I don't have it. I don't know how to. I don't know how to do it. I have to look it up. Right. Uh, you have. I think so. I think so. Uh, Kirk, you have. 740 points, Kirk. That's how many you have. And Leroy, you ha I think I gave you points before. Yeah, you have 1,220. Uh, Riley, you have 148 points. What's up, Trevor? James, you have 922 points. <clears throat> uh. Oh. Uh, from just how much did you? Right. No, no matter. How much did you bet a hundred? So I'll give you a hundred back. Actually, no. I'll, what I'll do is, um, I'll leave you with that hundred, and um, uh, what I'll do is, I will, I will give you, if 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 Hominick wins, I'll give you a uh, hundred and. Uh, yeah, 140. I don't know how to do the top three, but I don't know if there's a way to actually check. Um, vibes, you have... Oh, 566. 566 points. We need a top three right now! I said right now. Um, what about this ranks? Oh, here we go. No, nope. that's not. Oh, here we go. no way. I'm done. Hold on. Right. Wait, what? Why is this weird? Uh, I I actually have the most with ten million points. So all of you got a lot of catching up. To I only get myself 10 million because I don't bet anyway, so in case I need to use them for whatever. Um, 
the most who has the most points let's see Leroy has uh, 1200 yeah I think it's Leroy with um, 1220 something No, nope, it's Papa Stein. It's one thousand four hundred five hundred forty-seven. One thousand five hundred forty-seven. Sevchenko versus Cyborg. Uh, Cyborg wins that. Right. Next up is the main event. So we shall see how this plays out. Hope you enjoy it. I'll let everything play as normal. between Mark Hominick and Cub Swanson. A Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt known for his outstanding grappling, Cub Swanson was one of the top featherweights in the WEC. Now making his career in the octagon, this always dangerous submission artist is looking to show the fans his world-class skills. Impressive in his UFC featherweight debut with a first round knockout of George Roop, Mark the Machine Hominick is a brilliant striker with submission skills to match. Possessing both speed and finishing ability, he's sure to put on an exciting show in the octagon tonight. Shape Gel. Get your edge. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And now, live from the Red Rock Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, is Time! Three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Palm Springs, California. Cub Swanson. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of London, Ontario, Canada. Mark the Machine Hominick. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, set for the start of round number one. Are you ready to fight? Cup Swanson, Mark Hominick. And we are underway. A lot of betting coming in, a lot of money coming in on Cub here. Yeah, what a time to wake up, eh? Main event of universe mode here. Counters that nicely. Oh, nice left hook from Cub. Now, Cub uh, is coming off a win over the Korean Zombie, I believe, in the first round. Uh, arm triangle. I th unless it was Leonard Garcia that subbed him. It's all... Oh, fuck, I don't know. I've forgotten this. So many fights that sometimes I get a bit confuzzled. Look at that. Mark Hominick gets up. Mark Hominick's boxing is very crisp. So we'll see how it goes here against Cubs. Uh, more unorthodox striking style. But, um, you know, you think Cubs got the grappling advantage as well. But, you know, so, uh, Hominick's no slouch on the mat. 
Maybe he won around against Aldo. Prime Aldo, although apparently Aldo was sick. Or, or had a cold or something like that. Ill, maybe the better word then. Ah, too late, man. Also, it's only 0 and 1, so. Oh, nice. Nice flying head kick. Sorry, uh, I was going to compensate. So I was going to compensate somebody. I forgot who it was. Uh. 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 Um. Somebody... Somebody wanted somebody bet against the wrong guy, or bet accidentally, and I forgot. Right, Frontchess, who did you uh, who did you bet on? Who did you, who did you, uh, uh, I forget. Who did you accidentally bet on? Oh. Nah, don't worry, man. Oh, look at this, Hominic with damage on the ground here. Yeah, it could be a close one for sure. Both these guys are. Evenly matched here. Again, the takedown is stopped. Oh, exchange both exchange. Yeah, look at that right straight. Knocks, uh, knocks Cub down. Inside Don't know if you want to dive straight into his guard there. Ah, okay. I thought it was someone a little earlier. Uh, okay. So if Hominic wins, I'll give you, um, I'll give you your cash. Get reset, you get right. Everyone gets reset and you lose nothing. We all die. The The simulation is not uh, accommodating. It's not built to, to accommodate this. This was well timed here. Just a beautiful slip and counter. And here we see some amazing anticipation with a tremendous counter. You guys want me to stream more Ben Askren career after universe mode? What do you think? I've got time. <laughs> By TKO. <laughs> I'll be down. Alright. Count Johnson. Could do. But I did Count Johnson uh, the other day. Uh, I would like to do a bit more EMMA. Alright. Oh, nice body kick from Cub. Little rip to the body. I like that body work from Cub. I'm just going to be careful. Oh, nice. Straight to half guard, but gets reversed. Oh, oh, armbar! Armbar! Look at this! This is tight! This is tight! He caught the strike straight into the armbar. And I think. Oh, Hominic just escapes! That was a tight armbar. I, he just wanted to test himself, I think. Wow. That was close. That was close. Oh, Cub. Nice right uh, uh, Hobnick escaped. Oh, nice uppercut and then with the left hook. Nice catch there. Comes with a low kick. Oh! Fell, punch, uh, fell flat on his face. Hey, bro, life we're in game. Yeah, that was too close. Well, I say too close for the if you're a Hominic. If you're rooting for Hominic. Good high kick attempt. Yeah. Oh, I like that jab. But Hominic tries to shoot, gets sprawled. Or, yeah, I suppose he gets sprawled on. Back to half guard, now on top. And full guard is Cub. <clears throat> that that the the catch the strike catch subs in this game looks so nice. Oh, 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 good, good strikes here uh, uh, up close uh, with. Uh, let me say that again. Good strikes um, in the pocket from Hominic. but he tries to go for a triangle there. Let's see if Cub's able to. Um, 
if Cub is able to pass the guard, but nope. He gets... Gets reversed, and now... There. Uh, yeah. Well, he did get the armbar, to be fair. Oh, right, yeah. Being in his guard, he didn't do much, no. He's doing a good job of getting damage. Both of them are, to be honest. They haven't landed a ton of shots. Uh, I think he might be going back down. Who knows? Perhaps. Yeah. Take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. Here we see that failed submission. It, I wish I could adjust the reversal frequency. I really do. But unfortunately, we can't unless we drop the difficulty down even more. And expert is. It's a good balance. Look at that dodge there. The pull counter from Hobonik. That's a good fight, Pettis and Gilbert Burns. <clears throat> Dangerous fight for Pettis, though. Gilbert Burns is legit. RDA, huh? I want, see, I like both of those guys. So personally, I wouldn't like that fight. I mean, I'd like to see it, technically, but like, I like both of them too much. Oh, yeah, third round. Third and final round. Here we go. Nice low kick from Cub. Oh, eats a couple shots there. Got to move that head off the center line. Oh, he's... He, yeah, he got, he got knocked down there with the uppercut. He sort of... He shot straight into a sprawl. And then again, he shoots... Oh, he gets knocked down again. Not not eating a knee, but he's he's still eating a punch. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe a bit too soon with a rematch, don't you think? But then again, they are... They're not at the start of their careers anymore, so... <clears throat> yeah, true. Well, RDA's fighting Kiesa, isn't he? That was confirmed the other day. Oh, stands up. Very smart from Hominick. Doesn't want to get, doesn't want a chance to get caught in that submission again. That's a nice low, that's a nice head kick, brother. Again. I'll say again, what? Well, it was a good, uh, it was a good shot by, um, by Cup there. Beautiful blast double. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. But he gets reversed, put on his back. Let's see if he tries to catch. He's going to try to give the armbar again, but nice reversal from Hominick. Now top mount. This is dangerous, but he gets reversed. I'm liking the strike catches by both guys. They really haven't taken much damage on the, on the feet. Or on the ground, rather, on top. When one one's on top, they haven't taken much damage. And again, Cub catches the strike. What if we'll see another submission attempt? They're back to their feet. Oh, Hominick's landed some, some nice shots in this round. Oh, that was a that was lovely timing on that. Duck straight under that massive uppercut. Oh. Oh, Elmbar again! Elmbar again! This is tight! This is tight! This could be it! This could be it! Can Hominick escape? It's over! Cub Swanson gets it done with a beautiful armbar. Catches the strike again. That's the risk of playing a guard like that. Could get caught. Big win for Cub Swanson. Look at that. Cracks that arm. Right, Snow, I'm, I'm going to have to take your money away. Apologies. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes. 25 seconds of the third round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an on bar. Cub Swanson. Cub Swanson wins the fight.
<laughs> um, should have been able to bet Leroy. You. Uh, did you bet on him, Leroy? Ah, uh, sorry, man. You didn't put a space between um. You didn't put a space between the bet and the number, but I'll give you that. I'll give you that. Don't worry. I'll give you that. Um, who did you bet on? Uh... You bet on the. Uh... Hold on. Cubs on. Okay, I'll give you that. Hold on. I won 700 points. Leroy Smith, you are officially the richest man in universe mode. Yeah, you need to put a space. Uh, I I don't have the command in yet. I need to. I need to. Uh, next time I'll get it. I think if I can. What's up, boss man? End of the stream, man. Ha <laughs> ha! Make him back while having a shit. Right. Man, Cub took some damage in that fight. He was on route to losing a decision, I think. Especially in that third round. Let's see what the game thinks. Fire of the night was. Tonight's fight of the night. Yeah, hands down, this had to be the fight of the night. Neither guy wanted to quit, and that made for a really entertaining fight. Hey, don't worry, G G GW. It'll be up uh, as a video later. Both these guys deserve credit no problem, man. I give you your points anyway. Awesome, <clears throat> awesome fight. Uh, uh, for you have 75. Gambling cock, you have 800. <clears throat> nice round number. No problem. That was a slick KO, yeah. Probably be knockout of the night as well, to be honest. That was also could use one. That is, you have 919. Top to bottom, we had a uh... No, Justin, you have 890, Justin, and Vibes. Ah, oh, yeah, this was massive as well, to be fair. Uh, vibes, you have 602. The ref took so long to stop this. Moglo, I really thought he'd come back from the dead, didn't he? This ain't a zombie film. This is reality. <clears throat> they actually stopped filming there uh, because they knew it would be too uh, too violent for audiences. <laughs> I think I bet they'll give it to Polaris. I bet they will. But who knows? Maybe they give it to Cub. Hmm. Well, yeah, you still have a decent man in terms of when it comes to low amounts of points. You have a decent amount of points. You could be worse. You could be. You could have like 30, 40. Mission of the night, an outstanding display of Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, they gave it to Polaris. It was pretty clear that this was what he was looking for. He set that choke up perfectly, but what was really interesting to me was how he managed to keep his cool throughout the submission. No wasted energy here whatsoever, and great technique. Awesome finish. Fantastic performance. Probably, I don't know, because it was. Didn't say he took less damage? I don't know. I would think it'd be sub than if he took more damage, though, because it'd be like a comeback sub. Oh well. Uh, no, I'm gonna I'm, I'm stream EA MMA in a minute, I think. Uh, I'll do, uh, yeah, the cream I would have been. Ben Askren. Baskren. 
<laughs> he certainly taps Bob Stab Bob Stab Stop. Bob Stab. Another great card, another great night of fights. For my partner Joe Rogan and all of us at the Ultimate Fighting Championship, Mike Goldberg saying so long until next time. We see you right back here inside the octagon. octagon. I brought bananas. No, he is, um, what, are we talking about 2010 or EA UFC 2? Because it was started in 2010. Uh, then we moved him to Undisputed 3. Then we, I made him in uh, UFC 3. But I didn't do much with him. Spoilers, by the way, if you haven't seen the fights. Or if you want to watch him later. We'll go from the bottom of the card. Uh, Forrest Griffin gets a very good submission win. I was going to say sub win, but he got a good submission win, and it's uh, it's moving him up the ranks. He's slowly going up there, like everywhere. He's got a lot of skill, a lot of talent, and I think we'll see him in the top ten soon enough. Edson Barboza, um, much needed victory. Oh, coming off of the back of a a, a, a poorish debut. I mean, he had some nice strikes in there, but he lost, um, and, and then he fires back against uh, a veteran in Jim Miller. And uh, he gets his first UFC victory. Jorge Rivera deletes Jim Miller with a right hand that just really, really just started a, a barrage of illegal attacks that the commission should probably overturn. But we'll, uh, you know, I have no authority on that, so I can't do it anyway. Um, we'll leave it at that. Knock out of the night. He gets the win. Rory McDonald flattens Matt Terra. I almost called him Matt Terra. Um, what a brutal right hand that was. Um, that was just completely... It was kind of out of the blue. That's flash knockouts, though. Um, May, hold up, though. Are we talking about Boxing UM? <clears throat> Didn't say anything there, did I? What? What? Boxing UM? Pah. What do you mean? Um... Yeah, that was a, a, a lovely flush knockout. You don't see them too often, but when they they happen, they're very they're very surprising. It's kind of a, a hybrid because he took a lot of damage, uh, but at the same time, I think it was a flush knockout. Um, it wasn't sort of a combination of damage that just turned out to be a knockout after a fuck ton of damage. Um, but yeah, or a McDonald man, that power. So could you, with one of the best knockouts of the night, in full mount, he smashes Ryan Bader into the canvas and uh, he'll be waking up in the casinos I think he'll uh, be trying to gamble back his winnings well his winnings that he lost that he never got Rory McDonald uh, Chael Sonnen takes out Mark the Filipino wrecking machine you know is in a bit of a comeback win uh, Chael P never loses man that record is just fake that's they only gave him that because like he they, he can't they can't have him be undefeated it's too powerful so they just they gave him some fake um, some fake losses Husam Apple Harris gets a, a nice arm triangle over um, gets a nice arm triangle over Rumble Johnson. Somewhat predictable, but at the same time, you know, Rumble gave him a tough fight. <laughs> Ryan the Master Bader, yeah. Uh, in the main event, Cub Swanson, on his second submission attempt with the uh, the armbar, gets it done, talks that arm, forces Mark Dominic to tap, and will most likely be in the top five come Monday. In any case, that's all for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back in just a few minutes with more EA MMA. Hope you uh, hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you thought, what your favourite fight was. And uh, yeah, thank you all for coming by, everyone. Ha! <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Damn ugly. Little. Really letting that one go. But I'll see you all in a few minutes, everyone. Take care. Well, if you're not watching the MMA one, then I'll see you next week if you just watch Universe Mode. I'll see you next week in that case. For people who are coming to watch the, the EM mainstream, I'll see you in a few minutes. Take care, everyone. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Ha, <laughs> came second best. Take care.